It's a great day for Mount Kisco. Uh, I see so many people here from the seniors to the, the village employees to the residents of Mount Kisco. Uh, we are here today to witness the swearing in of our elected officials. <coughs> the citizens of Mount Kisco has chosen these officials to lead our community. This is a monumental task. However, for Mount Kisco to be successful, it requires all of us to support them by getting involved. At this time, I'd like to recognize the dignitaries that are here today. We have Assemblyman David Buckwald. <laughs> Trustee Karen Schleimer. <laughs> Trustee Jean Farber. Former Mayors, Ferd Viter, another familiar face, our former Mayor, Patricia Riley, and former Mayor, Mark Farrell. I don't know if I missed any other formers, but I'm sure they'll let me know later on. We also have Representing New York State Senator Terrence Murphy, Michael Jefferson. At this time, I'd like to introduce Girl Scout Troop 1006 to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. All rise. Another dignitary that just arrived, uh, George Latterman. At this time, I'd like to introduce Father Clark from St. Francis Church. Let us pray. Father in heaven, we give you thanks for our country, state, and community, and the leaders you sustain with your grace. Your sacred scripture tells us that there is no authority except from God, and, that, and those that exist have been established by God. In the book of Sirach, the prophet prayed that God grant the leaders of the people wisdom of heart to govern his people in justice. Therefore, we gather today to ask your blessing upon our mayor, our village trustees, judges, and village officials. Grant them the virtues of wisdom, prudence, and fortitude to govern justly and to work for the good of all the members of our community. Amen. Okay, it's time to get started with our swearing-in ceremonies. First up, as re-elected as village treasurer, village trusts, and coming off a grueling campaign season, uh, John Donahue, I'd like to introduce our current town justice and former Mark Mayor, I mean, uh, Mayor Mark Farrell, to do the honors. Repeat after me. I, John J. Donahue, having been duly elected town justice for the village town of Mount Kisco, do solemnly swear 
that I will support the Constitution of the United States of America. Thank you. Congratulations. We also have another dignitary that has shown up, uh, Francis Cochran. <laughs> next, I'll be introducing our village manager. He will be swearing in the next three elected, elected officials, which are our re-elected trustee, Peter Grunthal, our newly elected trustee, Izzy Albanese, and the newly elected mayor of the great town of Mount Kisco, Gina Pickenich. Morning, everyone. Thank you, Brad. Thank you, Brad. Thank you, Trustee Albanese. Swear, that I will solemnly swear to that I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of New York. And I'm eligible to hold office to which I have been elected. And I will faithfully discharge the duties thereof to the best of my ability. Solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of New York, and that I am eligible to hold the office to which I have been elected, and that I will faithfully discharge the duties 
thereof to the best of my ability. Congratulations. Brevity is always valued, and the celebration is always far more fun than the speech, so this will be quick, I promise. <laughs> I have the honor of standing here today because a group of very talented and highly motivated people who cared deeply believed that there were great things ahead for Mount Kisco. So first and foremost, I want to say thank you to each of them from the depths of my heart. And to everyone, I am so incredibly grateful for this tremendous honor to serve our beautiful village. I have a deep respect for our honorable and often bold history. There were so many before me, many who are here today, who made this community the wonderful place that it is. Leaders who had the foresight to build a hospital, to consolidate a school district, to tackle urban renewal, and to secede from other towns to create an independent coterminous village and town so that Mount Kisco could determine its own destiny. So today we stand here truly on the shoulders of giants with the understanding that our future and the future of our village rests collectively in all of our hands. So if you're a fifth generation Mount Kisco resident, or if you're newly moved to our village, if you were born in the Bronx, or you were born in California, if you were born in El Salvador, or in Calabria, you are welcome to our village. And know that that welcome comes with a responsibility it's the responsibility of choice. Make the choice to be a good neighbor. Make the choice to invest in the economy in our community. Make the choice to hold each other in high regard. And make the choice to being a part of making Mount Kisco reach its true potential. So everyone here and across our village, you can start by stepping up, lending your ideas and your time to make a difference in our community. So many decisions that contribute to the direction of our community are largely in the hands of volunteers who work cooperatively with the staff of our village. So make the choice and determine that you can help move our village forward. And with everyone's support, we, as a village board, will be guided by a very simple principle. Though sometimes we may have differing views, our choices will always focus on those things that benefit the people and the village of Mount Kisco. So it's time to roll up our sleeves. Tomorrow, we get to work. Coming together, is how we start. Working together is how we will set the course for our future and achieve success. So we move forward together with Kisco Pride. Thank you. Thank you, Gina, that was fantastic. On behalf of the committee, who put everything together, I want to thank them. And I also want to give congratulations to all of our newly elected, uh, elected officials. At this time, I'd like to invite everyone up to the Hank Kensing Memorial Library to enjoy uh, and celebrate this incredible day. Thank you for coming.